secret weapon of champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Good morning, Shark and Addicts. This is our first event. This morning is October 1, Sunday, 2023. And this is a Sharks top, top Guns. This is a 9-ball race to 30. In our first place, we'll get 8,000 Philippine Peso. And second place is 4,000. And our third place is 2,000 Pesos. And once again, this is Sharks top, gu top Guns. And our player number one is Ang Provinciano, Juni Pascual. And our player number two is the underdog, Paolo Villapando. And our top seated player is RJ Bautista. Ano pang hinihintay nyo mga Shark and Addicts? Let's get to the table and let the game begin.
secret weapon of champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Secret Weapon of Champions. Battle Tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Cool Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Secret Weapon of Champions. Battle Tested. Engineered to Perfection. The Tip of the Spear. Cool Q-Tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Gott bauen. Wieder. Paolo Villapando. Secret Weapon of Champions. Battle Tested. Engineered to Perfection. The Tip of the Spear. Cole q -tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Secret Weapon of Champions. Battle Tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Cool Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Let's bet on sports. Weezer. Win big without limits. Weezer. Vices like back or back. Weezer. Fast payments. Weezer. Gaming is for 21 years old and above. Play responsibly.
Secret Weapon of Champions Battle Tested Engineered to Perfection The Chip of the Spear Cole Q-Tips Available at Hard Time Sports Bar Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Let's bet on sports. Weezer! Win big without limits. Weezer! Vices by Pat Gore. Weezer! Fast payments. Weezer! Gaming is for 21 years old and above. Play responsibly.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Well, let's see. Open shot on the one. It's a legal break. But since no balls went down, that means RJ will step up to the plate. Oops, I think he didn't mean that one, but man, that was a miscue, massive one. I think he tried to hit a little too far below and look and look that look like that's gonna give him it's gonna give him Paulo Villapando another ball in hand opportunity, and he'll try to knock this one in. Shot landing on the short side of the four, and that means that Villapando will have another shot to the four this time to go into that upper corner pocket. Then he'll let this the angle of this give it a little draw to help out that angle because he wants to get good position on the five that's next. Uh oh, miss Q there. Well, that's a miss, definitely. And here comes RJ.
Is RJ trying to go for the side for this one, or is he trying to try and cut this into the bottom left corner pocket? That's a good question here. You know that RJ is capable, definitely, but the big question is where is he going to go with this one? I would think that the more likely was he was trying to go for the side, but it looks like the corner might actually be a better idea at this point to make sure he ha has a better angle for the eight to go down. Oh, that is nice. That is beautiful. Perfect. Gotta love the shooting that this guy can and exhibit execute here. And it's perfect again. Well, not bad angle. And this is for RJ to ram home the nine. That's his third rack of the day. And guess what? RJ will be breaking next when he takes on the Provinciano himself, Judy Pasquale. That's happening right after this. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And that break is brought to you by Andy Premier, and that's a legal break right there. No problem. By the way, just uh, to give everyone a recap of the rules if you've just tuned in. So in this match called uh, Top Guns, it's basically three amateurs facing off in a race to 25 over WPA nine on via WPA 9-ball rules. But of course, there are some uh, modifications to this rule, such as, uh, for instance... The players are required to break from the middle break box, which is located there, which is why you saw where RJ was positioning. He was just positioning as close to the edges of the break box as possible. So players can only break from within that area. By the way, nice shot by RJ as he takes that down. And, of course, we also have the three-point break rule in effect, meaning that the player must make at least three balls must earn at least three points during the break, and they earn a point either by pocketing a ball or having a ball pass the head string. Now, if a player fails to meet the objective, let's say they only pocket one ball and they only get one ball to pass the head string. So let's say that happens. That's only two points. So what happens is the opposing player will come in. So the so the break was they'll be treated as an illegal break, and the opposing player gets the opportunity to either take the next shot, or they can give it back to the player who just broke. And of course, the um, incoming player can use that as a strategy, especially if they see that, for instance, uh, 
the shot, for, for instance, the opening shot is actually a difficult shot, then obviously they'll let their opponent worry about that. So while we are looking at this, RJ Bautista missing on that seven. And I think if there's any chance for Juni to pick up his first rack, this might be it. And we'll see if Juni Pascual from the province of Cagayan can make something happen here. Oh no. Ay, ay, ay. Even Juni is wondering what the heck just happened there. And I'm even I'm wondering because he, the angle wasn't too sharp. But apparently the pocket can be that challenging from that angle. So again, if you're joining us for today, this is just the first of three ma three matches that we are having here today at the Great White Arena. And of course, we also like to remind you that we also have matches happening over at the Tiger Arena, which is just a few blocks away over at Sergeant Isguera. Oh, look at that. RJ going around, but, well, he had to hit it a little forcefully there because he needed to make sure that the seven ball would fall into the pocket with how thin he was hitting it. Well, let's see how he can make this eight. Nice shot. And he's hoping. Oh, look at that. That is perfect speed. RJ reads the speed perfectly, and he just knocks it down and RJ Bautista is your winner and he'll be taking on the underdog Paolo Villapando he's up next and we'll be right back secret weapon of champions battle tested engineered to perfection The tip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. That break is brought to you by Andy Premier. Oh, that's going to be a scratch. Oh, no. RJ was hoping to keep it going, but um, I don't think that's going to happen now. Well, not with that scratch. So that means Paulo Villapando will have his opportunity to try and win this one. And, of course, he'll try to take advantage here. So ball in hand. It's going to make it a lot easier for Paolo to figure out his strategy for the rack.
go. All right. Not sure he overshot it, but you know what? That might not be a bad thing. He just has to focus on pocketing this four and let the natural angle do its work. Of course, just needs to also mind that side pocket that might come into play. But with the angle he's going for, there's a possibility that's not going to be the problem anymore. Uh oh, oh, that's not going to go down. And Paolo had the right idea, but the execution was the problem. Let's see what they'll do here. Nice set up there. Sends that five down perfectly. And here comes RJ. Hoping to run right through this rack. Nice, just avoids the six, meaning he can go for it in the same pocket, go around, and then let drift back up table for the seven. And there is Paolo Villapando knocking it home and teaching RJ Bautista a thing or two about finishing off a rack. And we'll be right back with Juni Pasquale. He's next. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Cool Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Ooh, three balls down. And two crossing the head string. That's automatic right there for Paolo Villapando. And he's going to have a very nice run out opportunity here. Nice shot. Ooh, just manages to avoid that four. And look at the position he lands. Almost perfect. Didn't expect that. So again, if you're joining us here, we're going to have another match coming up later. So just um, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, this race to 25... Featuring some of our best here at Sharks from the amateur ranks. And let's see if Paulo's going to be able to run this out. And he's in great position to do that. Juni Pasquale, unfortunately, not able to get off on the right foot. He's just been stranded without a rack so far. But again, we know Juni, he can win this. He's most like I would call this as just a slow start. I mean, it happens even to the best ones. Even the best players have to battle slow start. And even Juni's like, huh. well, I know he's not gonna let that. He's not gonna let that slide probably if he gets out of the rack. But for now, he's gonna have to hope and pray that Paolo misses. But that doesn't look like it right now. And Paolo Villapando cruising to yet another rack there. And let's see how he stands up to the test of Rodlin Jan Bautista. RJ will be right back after this. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Cool Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Here we go! Here we go! Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And that break is brought to you by Andy Premier. And Andy Premier is the official cloth here at Sharks. Looks like it's a dry break. Well, looks like a possible opportunity here for RJ to run this out.
will rattle that one. But RJ, we know he's capable of making something happen. Uh-oh. Ooh. Well, look at this situation. So basically, RJ is going to have to find a way to get to that three from behind the four. Well, he's trying to figure what to do with his four. And he may end up playing a safety here. I mean, what I would do is I would knock that four, let it go farther up table, and then try to hide it behind the eight or one of the other balls just to make it as tough as possible. But he decides to go for it. Nice. Now here's the question. Will he get shaped for the five? Ooh. Oh, no. Lost position on the five right there. That was the risk with that shot. Looks like he broke up that cluster. And with breaking up that cluster, he might have opened the door for RJ to run this rack out. Let's see what Paolo can do with this one. He's looking at a possible 5-9 combo. Or will he hide it? And hiding it might not be a bad idea either. Now here's the thing. Can RJ cut the... Use, does RJ see enough of this ball to cut it in? He just might, you know. That's an interesting question. And we're going to see what he's going to try here. Because again, for RJ... He's got to get his momentum back. Nice shot. Oh, but no, that's not what he wanted. He's in awkward position. And he's not going to like where he's at. That's not where he wanted to be. RJ's going to have to play on safety here, possibly. Now, what he can do is he can try to... He'll go through the. He'll go between them, grazing the nine, the six, and that's nice. Oh, will he get it to behind the seven? Oh man, that is not too bad, not too bad actually. Nice effort. Now, RJ, of course, again, 
Still currently in second place in this match. He's got four racks, as you can see. And Pablo Villapando looking to get to the double-digit zone first. And he just made that shot. Uh-oh. And he just gave it up. Uh-oh, and that's a scratch, and this time it's RJ who will have the opportunity to try and finish it off here. And there is your winner, RJ Bautista, with another rack as he stops Paulo Villapando from picking up his 10th. But in the meantime, let's see if Juni Pasquale can pick up his very first right after this. Secret Weapon of Champions. Battle Tested. Engineered to Perfection. The tip of the spear. Cool Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. That break is brought to you by the Windsor app. And that's a legal break right there. So, it's going to be RJ going to work. And he's got a great shot on the two. 
So he'll let this follow trickle down the table. And then after that, three ball down to the corner pocket. And then he'll use that angle to get position for the four. Now, might have to cut it a little thinner than he'd want here, but if anyone can cut a, thi a sh shot as thin as slices of fugu, it's this man, R.J. Bautista. See what I mean? That guy can slice him. That's how good he is. Of course, R.J. Bautista... Ready to run this out. And I think he's got the confidence to get this done. Unfortunately, though, for Juni, he's going to have to wait yet another rack just to get one. And again, I feel, again, Juni just needs an opportunity. He just needs the opportunity, and he will pick up one. It's really just a matter of um, the slow start here. Oh, he missed it. Oh, boy. That's a big miss. And looks like Juni up out of his chair like a rocket, knowing that he needs a rack to give him that confidence boost. And he's almost straight in here, so will he try to draw it back? I think that's his plan. Juni will try to draw this baby back. Let's see. Oh. Didn't get the didn't get the draw he wanted, you know. Kind of the problem I have when I try to put draw, it just doesn't bite sometimes. Well, Judy laughing to himself as to say, "Man, really? I gotta take this one." Well, let's see. He's going for the lower right, lower left rather. Oh, that was. That was not an easy shot, but let's give him credit where it's due. He doesn't leave RJ an easy shot either. Oh, nearly went in. Wow. Oh, my goodness. RJ nearly sank that one. But he's left Juni a possible opening. And, of course, Juni knows he's got to make this. He can't let this slip. He cannot let this slip. and He's got to make something happen. Oh, he went for it, but he might get away with it. Oh, he did. Fortunately for Juni, he doesn't give him an easy one again. But now RJ is thinking, should I bank this or should I play safe? Oh, he banks it. There you go. RJ Bautista puts it away. And even <laughs> Juni can't help but laugh as if to say, well, we made it interesting now, didn't we? <laughs> and we'll be right back with the man in front, Paolo Villapando, the native of Caintarizal, will join us in just a moment. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Ooh, nearly a scratch there. That's a legal break. Ironically, the one ball keeping the six from crossing. Although even if he made it across, that still would have been a dry break. And that still would have been Paulo Villapando going back to the table. There is Paolo. Nice shot. Great setup for the three. That's perfect. And he doesn't have a whole lot to do here at this point. All right. He's going for the four, but that's not going to get there. And that means that Paul is going to be forced to, well, he's going to be forced to play a safety. Oh, well, hits that one, no problem. Oh, but man, this is going to be interesting. Looks like the four may still pass that five on its way to that pocket. Up table, and I think RJ can make something happen. We'll just let this follow. Just like that. That's perfect. Exactly what he need to do. He's okay. He's okay. RJ managed to bump, but he's not too bad. Nice shot, but ooh, he doesn't want to be this straight. Uh, well, I think RJ might be going for the lower right, and I th and I think that might be a better option. I need a little bit of angle to get him. Away from it would be good. There's a nice shot. Uh-oh, where's that cue ball going? Oh, he's fine. There you go. RJ Bautista is your winner. And he's only two behind Paulo Villapando as he continues his hot pursuit. So RJ Bautista is your winner. And he'll be taking on the next guy, Juni Pascual. That's happening right after the break. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core q -tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
And that break is brought to you by Andy Premier. Well, unfortunately, good break, but no good opportunity on the two. So RJ may decide to go for a push. Well, he's thinking about it. Let's see. Kicks that one. Okay, where's that two going to go? Oh, he's hitting it. Looks like we're in a, for a safety battle right here. And by the way, over at the... By the way, over on Facebook, we'd like a good... more. We have a greeting from our technical director, Mr. Eric Mendoza, who says, Good morning, Machine Gun Cannon. Hope you're doing fine. Hello din sa lahat ng production staff and crew ng Sharks. Arena, both Great White and Tiger, enjoy lang ang day ngayon. Well, good to see you, Derek, Eric. Nice to see that you're um, enjoying your day out of the office for now. Siyempre, uh, you've been working really hard here. I mean, Eric Mendoza has been one of the key people here at Sharks because of his technical expertise. Uh, he's helped set up a lot of the, he's basically spearheaded setting up a lot of the equipment that's here. Like the, um, like of course, like of course the, uh, the cameras, the computers that are used here, everything, and that's why we're very grateful to Eric Mendoza for his uh, amazing work here, and of course, and, ex and of course it's always wonderful to be able to uh, have a man like him supporting us here at Shark. So to direct Eric, a very, very good morning to you, and hope you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> Yan. Anyway, while we are doing that, um, we have a question over here on um, YouTube from Fred Jimenez. He's asking, what size are those pockets? Well, first of all, uh, good day to you, Fred. Thanks for joining us here at Sharks. Now, uh, on the Mr. Song Acura tables, these pockets are four and a quarter inches. So, 4.25. So, that means 4.25 inches pocket so they're slightly narrower than the uh, common standard the four and a half and when you're used to playing the big pockets that quarter inch can make a significant difference so that I hope that answers your question Fred and again the pocket size is a uh, four and a four and a quarter for as far as I know it's four for a quarter for the corner pockets for the and I know the top is, I think, like half an inch, another half inch um, wider on the sides. And anyway, that is RJ Bautista winning it there. And he'll be taking on Paulo Villapando right after the break. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Ad break is brought to you by the Windsor app. That's a legal break, but that's also as dry as the Gobi Desert, so looks like it's Paulo's turn to go shooting. Uh, to answer Derek Eric's question, um, now we're back to uh, we're back to sardines and pork and beans right now here at the production booth. <laughs> uh, don't worry, uh, we'll save you a can of uh, fried sardines in Tausi. Uh oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of Tausi, looks like um, our referee Joel Calzado will have to go fishing in the pocket for that. As uh, Paulos picks up that scratch. <laughs> well, anyway, here comes RJ. And by the way, uh, good morning to Trish Durbin, our Missouri maiden, who is joining us this morning. Good to see you. And yeah, um, Eric's not in today. He's actually at the uh, at home, just uh, taking his much deserved rest. And obviously, he's just checking in, making sure that we're, we're all good. Anyway. Um, if there is an emergency, uh, I know that um, for at least at, at least he he'll be able to rush by here just in case. But uh, so far things are okay here, so we're not going. So we're gonna let him enjoy his day. Uh, by the way, Trish, to answer your question, this is a standard four and a half by nine foot table, so it's the uh, pro size table, the full size table. So meaning that if you get yourself a Mister Sung Acura table then you will get a table with four and a quarter inch pockets and a full size with a full size of four and a half by nine feet. Well, let's see this. Oh, man. RJ's going to have another tough shot here. And he's going to have to play this really tricky. Let's see how he pulls this off. And by the way, of course, if you want to, if you're here, in the, if you want to order a Mr. Sung Acura table, well, you can get one right here. Via Sharks. And by the way, there's your winner, RJ Bautista, fighting his way. And looks like he wants to overtake this man. And let's see if he can stop, if he'll be able to stop Juni Pascual, who is looking for that first rack. Hard Time Sports Bar.
available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Secret Weapon of Champions. Battle Tested. Engineered to Perfection. The Chip of the Spear. Core Q-Tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Oh, look at that. That's a legal break. So two balls going down, the ball crossing the head string. Well, actually two. And you know what? He's good. So RJ is going to have... A look at this two. Now, he may choose to go for the 2-7 combination here. 
Well, we'll try to go to her side instead, which is... Oh, where's that nine going? It's gone! Oh, my! <laughs> yeah, even Junie just can't help but laugh. Oh, my goodness. But, man, I gotta feel for Junie. He's still struggling to get that rack. Well, let's see what happens when we return after this. It's Paolo Villapando next. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Well, here comes RJ, and he'll be breaking against Paolo Villapando. That break is brought to you by Annie Premier. Well, it's a good break, but it's dry, which is why Paolo Villapando will step up to the plate. And by the way, a good afternoon to the one and only Tracy Lemuel Isidro TLI saying gandang hapon sa lahat, the Grand Salva Cutie checking in. And great to see you. Great to see you online watching this. Mr. Isidro, very nice to see you as always. And of course, uh, TLI, a very good friend of ours here at Sharks, one of our a player that a player who's made his mark here at Sharks as well. And well, it's always great to see TLI joining the, joining the room here and watching. So we're gonna see now if Paolo can make this one, cut this in. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. That is exactly what the doctor needed to cut that in. Very nice. Well, looks like um, this man, Paolo Villapando, is starting to catch a little breeze here. Well, now that he is trailing RJ by one rack, he wants to make sure that he reestablishes the control. 
And this is the perfect time to do it. Now he's got a little angle on that six. No problem at all. And he'll let this go around. And by the way, I also would like to give a quick shout out here to my, to the one and only Kelvin Gomez Nanyong, the Fluffy Meg, who says, good afternoon, Shark and Addicts, as well as to my bro from another mother and father, the sexy back Mako, Cuddly Sharky, Auto Cannon, Machine Gun, Energizer Bunny, the Great White Shark, Cannon Day Reed. <laughs> well, you know, good afternoon to Kelvin, and hopefully you're enjoying your lunch break. Because right now, this match with Paolo Villapando getting interesting with these two men. Looks like it's become a two-man race at this point. And that's a nice shot there. And Paolo Villapando is the man in front. He takes the lead. And we'll be right back with Juni Pasquale. He's going to be up next. And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Ooh, nearly a scratch. He's good. And there it is. Very nice break. Although that one ball is not going to come in easy. So looks like Paulo's going to have to play some defense for now. So he decides to go for a push. And he's going to leave a tough shot here for, well, Juni. Uh, Juni decides 
you know, how do I play this one? And he decides, you know what? Go ahead, take it. And Paulo basically just laughs and say, all right, fine, I'll take it. Gee. <laughs> Oh boy, these guys are funny. Even, even even though even though he hasn't really had a good start here, Judy's still keeping the laughs going here. And this is the beauty of um, having this kind of brotherhood in pool that it's like you're all just really having fun at the end of the day. And of course, uh, Juni now wanting to pick up a rack, but now he's thinking, all right, what's the best way to do this? He obviously does not have an open shot on the one. I mean, doesn't have a clear pocketable shot. So he may choose to either play a counter safe. See if he can come up with something. Looks like Judy's going to have another crack at this. And at least now, a more open layout. The question, of course, is whether he can make something happen. Uh-oh, thought the nine was going to go down. But he'll get lucky because that one ball is not going to be something. But Paolo can get that with the six in play. And yes, you're right, Kelvin. Um, looks like uh, our referee, Joel Calzado, has another hairstyle he's trying to popularize. Unfortunately, no word yet on whether the referee um, survived, um, whether the referee is still alive, at, whether the barber is still alive at this point. No word yet. Inaano pa natin, at itukoy pa natin, baka kaya ko kausapin daw si Ivan Mayrina para dyan. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, oh man. Junis left it again. Junis left it. This is not gonna be fun. That's not going to go down, but look at the safety there. And Paolo Villapando thinking light years ahead with that safety. And even Juni was laughing as if to say, oh, man, they're really playing the hard ball right now. But again, Juni, very much a man who still isn't willing to give up just yet. And it looks like he's going to go off the bottom rail. So for a two rail, for, for a one rail kick. Getting to the five. Oh, wow, look at that. Amazing. And even Paolo was a little like, ooh, that was good. Well, Juni got that almost perfect. That was a nice shot. And now he's going to try and win this if he can. Just four balls separating him from 
the very first rack. And finally, Juni says, winless no more. Let's give him a big hand because he deserved to win that first rack. Now, let's see if Juni can take another one against RJ. And that's happening after this break. That break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Well, we're going to see here if um, RJ can do something with this. Oh, nice shot. So there was just enough room for him to shoot it. And look at the position he'll get on the two. Not bad. So what he'll try to do is I think he's going to go for the corner pocket. Draw it slightly to make sure he gets position. Oh, there he is. Didn't even need to draw it. Stun was just fine. Stun was just perfect there. It looks like RJ might actually be off to a good start here. Oh, man, he pulled that one, definitely. A little more oomph than he might have wanted. But there's a nice shot. And RJ Bautista now hoping to get off to a good start here. Hoping off to take advantage of this. And so far... He's shooting very, very well, which is something we know that RJ can do. Ooh, bump on that nine. He 
probably would have preferred not to have to bump into it, but we'll just manage this. Wow, he just avoided the nine going back into where the eight was, and that's great preparation there. Sets it up nicely. And it looks like RJ's not going to have a problem taking out this rack. Ooh, maybe except for this nine. But again, he's made these kinds of shots. So it's not something we're going to count him out on. And RJ Bautista says, we're done. <laughs> well, Julie's still keeping a very happy face there despite the uh, poor performance here. Well, we'll be right back with Paolo Villapando. And we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. That break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Well, looks like he's going to go to work here. And the big question is, how's he going to break off some of those clusters? It's going to be a challenge for Paolo Villapando. All right, nice shot there. So avoiding the scratch. Now here's his pl now here's a possible shot. What about going off the two, letting it carry him into the nine, and let the nine fall in? That's a possibility for Paulo. But we'll see what he does here. Oh, perfect carom finish there, and Paulo Villapando ties it again with R.J. Bautista as he refuses to go away and we'll be right back when we see him take on Juni Pascual next.
available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. And yeah, that's definitely a good break. Look at that. Well, here's the problem now, though, for Paolo. He's going to have to get to this one, but he's going to have to get around that six. So let's see. He could go for a real first kick, or he could go for a push or something. Looks like he's going for the push. Uh oh. Oh no. It uh, looks like he lost it in that side pocket. And Paolo would have wanted something, would have wanted a better result there. Let's see, Juni will want to win another rack here. And if he can do this against uh, Paolo, that's going to be a nice start for him as well. At least he'll finally have some uh, sign of life here. Oh, that's nice. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Now he's got a natural angle to take him to the four, so he doesn't really have to do much here except... Just go for the right speed. Uh, looks like Juni's finally got that streak. And, and you know what? I'm just happy to see him finally start to pull some racks together. This is what he can do at his best. Oh, okay. He might have been a little awkward there, but, well, 
Let's see what he does here. I think he can still make this at the side. The question, of course, is how does he make it to the side? Oh, wow, that just <laughs> fell in. And great job by Juni Pascual as he picks up another rack. And he'll be facing off against RJ Bautista right after this quick reminder. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Cool Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. And it's a legal break, but that's going to be dry. Well, let's see. Let's see what RJ plans to do here. And he's got a shot on the one. But of course, that's, that's just one out of the nine balls he has to take out to win this rack. All right, nifty there with that shot on the one. Very good job. RJ's got good position on this five. The challenge is he'll have to draw this back for a position to six, and that's going to be quite a challenge. Again, let's see how he pulls it off. Oh, he hit that too hard. Definitely too hard. And he went at it with a little too much gusto. And that's why... We're going to see Judy back on the table. And this time he's got the bridge. Oh, he missed that one as well. Oh, man, it's going to get tough.
that's some conviction there by RJ. And it looks like he's going to get this eight down and the nine to secure what could be his 12th rack today. Be right back with Paolo Villapando next. Stay tuned. Hard Time Sports Bar. That break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Oh, look at this. That's an illegal break. So, obviously, we're going to see if uh, Paolo will take this on or if he'll give it back. That's the strategy here when you have the three-point break rule. So, basically, if you fail to make three points, simple as the opposing player gets to choose whether you take it or he takes it. In this case, he decides to return it, and he's basically telling RJ, all right, this is your shot. This is your break result. Make something happen. Oh, but he can still see that. He can definitely see that. Oh, look at this. Can he see it? Because if he can, then he may be able to go for a combination. Oh, he's going to leave an open shot here. That's going to be difficult.
Uh, he kicks that out. And he's got a shot on the three. Nice play. The question is, can Paolo, in fact, do some damage here? Oh, look at that spin right there. Man, just loaded that with spin. Okay. See, oh wow! <laughs> Didn't hit any other, any other balls, and look at that. And he ends up in a bit of a safety there. Well, this is well. I think RJ can still hit this, but he de I don't. I'm not sure about pocketing it. That looks a little more iffy here. See Paolo trying to figure out the rest of the rack here, but I think he's got most of the heavy lifting out of the way. Nice shot. Uh, Paolo leads just these three balls to win his 12th rack and tie it up again at the top of the leaderboard. Yes, there you go. And you're right, Trish. That was a fantastic jump shot from earlier. And Paolo Villapando just proving that he has a lot of game. And he's ready to compete at any given moment. And Paolo is the winner. So he ties it at 12 racks apiece between him and RJ. And let's bring in Juni Pasquale to challenge... Paulo Villapando, that's happening after the break.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Yeah, it's a legal break. The question here is, and any balls go down, and it looks like that's not the case because it is a good break, but since no balls went down, that's going to be an, a dry break. <laughs> there we go. So now we have uh, Paolo Villapando, who's tied for the lead with RJ Bautista. And the big question, of course, with RJ is can RJ um, regain that lead later? Well, we'll see. First of all, Paolo can actually hold on to the solo lead if he wins this. It's going to make things very, very interesting. Oh, Paolo hit it just a little too hard, I think. A little off. That's not what he wanted. I think Juni wants to prove that he is a presence in this match. He might have heard me when I said that this was turning out to be a two-man race. Well, I think Juni says, eh, we're not done yet. And we know that Juni can get the job done. It's really just a matter of him finding his momentum and being able to take advantage because he has performed pretty well. We're just going to see if he can do something here. And he's got a great run out looking look looming in the horizon so far just got to keep this up all the way to the end so we'll see he's got a shot on the five no problem now for the six he might be preferring to go for the six in the side and then the seven to go down one of the corner pockets there Let's check this out. He's got a shot on the six. If I'm correct, he'll probably aim for the. He'll probably aim. Oh, there it is. So he's going middle ball with this one. Nice. 
uh, except for the part where he lands in that awkward position for the seven. And now Junie's going to have to play some defense, possibly, or unless he can come up with a magical shot to the level of Efren Reyes. Well, Paolo decides to thread the eye the needle, and he gets it. He just needs two more, and that's going to give him the solo lead. Psyche's like going to have no problem with the nine. Not too many problems here. Just got to focus on pocketing it. There it is. Paolo Villapando is now the front runner all up there with 13 racks. And he is now halfway up the mountain. And let's see if he can stop RJ Bautista. We'll be right back. That break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Well, looks like this is not going to be an easy shot again. Oh, look at this. Hmm. Interesting situation there. By the way, we'd like to congratulate the winner of the 46th U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. He is the 2023 champion, 
Ko Ping Chong from Taiwan. That's right. So Ko Ping Chong is the winner as he puts up a flawless display. As he puts up a fantastic performance against Fyodor Gorst of Russia, putting on quite a show there. And Ko Ping Chung has had quite an interesting 2023 here. Back in July, he won the Sharks International Nine Ball Open, defeating Michael Feliciano. And then he wins the 46th U.S. Open Pool Nine Ball Championship as he took out Fedor Gorst. Oh, that's not going to work. Well, let's see what RJ will do from this point. So just to answer Sabana Stud's question, yes, that is correct. The winner of the U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship for 2023 is Ko Ping Chung of Taiwan, one of the three, one of the three Ko brothers who have made their names in international pool. And they are fantastic players, no doubt about that. Three players who can perform at a high level. Well, we're going to see now if RJ can do something here and because RJ knows that he he is basically in the best position to overtake Paolo Villapando because he already has 12 racks and he was the leader for a short time and looks like he wants a repeat performance here all right let's see Yep, looks like that seven's going to go to the side. Eight to the corner, and then possibly same corner for the nine. All right, he's just weighing it out now. RJ deciding to ask for the bridge. And, of course, he wants to take advantage of this opportunity. All right, there it is. Well, could have been better, but he'll take it. Something that RJ, I think, can pull off without a problem. Just has to make sure he pockets this. And they'll be guaranteed another tie at the top of the leaderboard. That's what we're seeing and there it is, your winner, Rodlin John Bautista. And let's see if RJ can pick up another win against this man, Juni Pasquale. That's happening after the break. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Oh, it's a legal break right there. So that means Junie can choose to go for the shot or give it back. And of course, it'd be kind of silly if uh, Junie passed up an opportunity. It can be weird if he passed up an opportunity like this. Junie knows he needs every rack. And right now, he's on the table, so he's not going to want to miss this. Junie's got to go on a run here. He's looking good here. So three ball should pass that eight. They'll let the four go in the side. Possibly the five going up to the five again to the side pocket as well. Ooh. All right, this is going to change things. This is going to make this challenge very interesting here. Let's see. Oh, there he goes. Here it is. He's going to try and go for this one. Possibly a bank here. Oh, that was a nice try, but not quite there. And now RJ can try and finish the rest of this rack off. He knows he has to take advantage. And RJ Bautista stands tall, and we will be right back to see if he will have a chance against this man, Paolo Villapando. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Oh, that was almost a scratch. Well, that's a legal shot. But now, that was a legal break. But because nothing went down, it's Paulo's turn to go for it. Well, it's looking like a back-and-forth match, as uh, Trish would say here. It's a back-and-forth so far, mostly between RJ and Paolo. And, of course, the big question here is who will be the man to end up with the win at the end of the day. Oh, that's nice. Very well done. That was a great way to go around. Paulo Villapando refusing to give up that lead. Or the very least refusing to let the lead just go away. Oh, he's going to use the extra angle from this shot to take advantage. What he plans to do here is he'll let this go up all the way. Okay, at least no risk of a scratch there. Good job. And RJ going to go to work. Well, RJ going to have to wait and see if he can go to work after once Paolo misses. Because right now, Paolo looking very good. Although this shot on the... Seven, a lot straighter than you wanted it. So that's going to make game position for the eight a little trickier. Well, it looks like he's going to go for the eight nine combination here. So he's forced to go for the long one. And of course, it's going to be a test for him to see how accurate he can get with this. Oh, okay, that's going to be something here. Looks like it's going to be RJ who can go now for the winning combo. So right now the 8 and the 9 in a line that would allow for a combination. And he's just checking the angle where he should go for the... Where he should aim through for the 8 to get to the 9 and potentially put this in the pocket. Oh, he went for it, but he missed. Oh man, this is getting crazy. There's a lot that can still happen between now and the end of this match. But right now, Paulo Villapando still hoping to at least tie this up Oh, nice shot. Hits that perfectly. And the 9 shouldn't be a problem from this spot. But just to be sure, he's going to get his extension accessory. 
because it looks like he's going to have to stretch over this part. Let's see. There it is. And Paulo Villapando seals the deal. And that's another rack for him. So he and RJ Bautista are tied for the, for the lead. And Judy Pascual will try to join the party in this next rack. And that break is brought to you by Andy Premier. And that's three balls, I believe, that went down on the break. Nice. What a solid break there from Paolo Villapando, just powering that breakthrough. Well, it looks like uh, Paolo now, if he can win this rack, he'll take the lead. Otherwise, Juni can take another one. So he goes for a little safety there. We'll And now he's going to leave Juni with a tough decision. And will Juni go for it? Yeah, it? Looks like he'll give it back. And now we're going to find out if uh, if Paolo can grab the solo lead in this rack. By the way, we'd also like to greet a good afternoon to one of our uh, one of our staff here, one of our technical staff here at uh, our production members here, Kenji Lapitan. Magandang hapon sa'yo, Kenji. And we hope to see you very, very soon. Yeah, so si Kenji, of course, one of our uh, technical staff here, one of our technical production staff here at Shark. So very good to see him join the action, join us here for today. In the meantime... Let's see what Juni will do with this one. Oh no, looks like he might have left him a shot. Oh boy. That's not gonna help Juni's cause.
Oh, he missed that one. Wow. Looks like it's Junie's turn. And he's got to take this right now. like no easy shots here yet although he could go for the combo and over on Facebook one of our players here at Sharks Doc Ethan Valdez says good afternoon Shark Nation BNP boys and Dave Wilkin go go Fafa Juni ilabas mo na let's do this well there he is. So Ethan Valdez trying to cheer on, of course, his friend, Juni Pascual. And Juni, despite his struggles, still still not totally out of this match yet. Oh, it's not a bad safety. Not a bad result. Alright, there he goes. Oh, look at that. Nice shot, but he's left an opening. And Paolo can go for it. He just missed it, but not by a whole lot. Still nice effort, though. And there's Paulo Villapando, the winner of that rack, as he now takes the solo lead, and it'll be RJ Bautista trying to catch up in the next rack. Secret weapon of champions. 
battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. That break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Well, he's got a shot on the two. Long. A bit tricky on the angle, but makeable. Oh, nearly made the nine, the four there, but, oh boy. Well, we're now going to see if RJ can do something with this pink four. Well, look at that. Looks like um, 
RJ left with a tricky situation here. Looks like he's going to be about ready to run this out and pick up a two-rack lead if he can make these both. Well, that's 16 racks for Paulo Villapando. He's only 9 racks away from ending this match. And he takes on Juni Pascual in the next rack. And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. And he's got a shot on the two. But that's going to be Juni's turn.
see what he'll do here with this two. He decides to play safe. Oh, that is a nice safety. Look at that. Excellently played safety by Paulo Villapando as he traps the cue ball perfectly behind that five and leaves the two, well, on the other side. Paolo now, because he's got ball in hand, after forcing a foul from Juni, he's basically going to figure out, all right, how do I get rack number 17 from here? And looks like the 2-9 might be a combination, might be an option right here. And Paulo Villapando snares the nine in a combination shot with the two. And that means that's going to be Rodlin Jan Bautista joining the action after a quick break. Here we go. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Secret Weapon of Champions. Battle Tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
question?
And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Let's see. He's got a shot. He's got a shot on the two. So Juni, I am going to assume he'll gun for this one. He wants this. And who could blame him? Oh. Okay, maybe he didn't want to bump into those. But let's see. Uh, I think Juni still has a, a shot here. Can still squeeze into that side pocket. Just like that. Perfect. Let's see here. Sean the four. That is very nice. This is the Juni Pascual that we've come to see. This is the Juni Pascual that I know has won top guns more than once. Let's see here. Juni is starting to clear his way through and he's doing exactly what he needs to do to stay alive in this match because he only has two racks, remember. So he's going to have a huge deficit to catch up against these gentlemen. And there's your winner, Juni Pasquale, finally with number three. And it looks like RJ Bautista will be challenging him. So while they go off to war, I'll just take a quick break. See if I could get some lunch and then, you know, get my energy back. We'll be right back. This match continues.
Champions, battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Cool Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Vices by Paco. Weezer. Fast payments. Weezer. Gaming is for 21 years old and above. Play responsibly. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Burns.
secret weapon of champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Secret Weapon of Champions. Battle Tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Cool Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
bet on sports. Weeds up. Win big without limits. Weeds up. Vices by Pat Gore. Weeds up. Fast payments. Weeds up. Gaming is for 21 years old and above. Play responsibly. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Cool Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Stop the clock, please. Thank you.
21 years old and above. Play responsibly. Thank you.
champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And that break is brought to you by Andy Premier. Okay, look at that. Great spread of the balls from RJ Bautista. Now the big challenge here for RJ, of course, is he's got to make a run now because his opponent, Paulo Villapando, is already at 23 racks. And of course, is this a race at 25? It means that RJ has a very small margin to be able to catch up. So he goes for the push here. And while he does leave an open shot for Juni Pascual, it's far from an easy shot here on the one because of the long distance in that angle. And again, if you're joining us for this match, this is our very first match for today featuring RJ Bautista, Paulo Villapando, and Juni Pascual. As you can see here, RJ Bautista with 21 racks already. And Juni Pascual currently with 6. Oh, nice one there. Let's see where he sets up for this 4-ball. The 2-ball, rather. Nice. Again, for all of you who have just joined us today, thanks for joining us here. And of course, we'd also, again, we'd like to give quick greetings to uh, Cebuano Stud, who's watching also over on YouTube, as well as Gerard Dresch, watching all the way from the great state of Georgia. Thank you for joining us as well. Oh, look at that solid stroke. And look at that power draw right there by RJ Bautista, just perfect. You saw how solid that stroke was. Very smooth. Very powerful draw. Oh, but he missed that one. Oh, my goodness. What a time. What a time to make that mistake. That's definitely a bad time to make that happen. But, well, here's what's going to happen now. Juni Pascual, he needs every rack he can get here because right now his two opponents have really caught fire here Uh-oh. Oh, disaster there for RJ. Because he did make a great kick. The problem was it gave him a scratch. And now Juni Pascual is back on the table. And he is hungry for another rack. He must start with this.
And Juni Pasquale, despite the odds against him, still fighting on. And he takes on the current leader, Paulo Villapando, who needs only one rack to get to the hill and two to win this match. We'll be back. That break is brought to you by the Winter app. And that is a legal break. And look at this. Perfect shot for Juni on the one ball.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Secret Weapon of Champions. Battle Tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Cool Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
Well, looks like this is it. Oh, no. Not quite. Not quite. We here up in the booth thought it wasn't going to be it. But it looks like Juni Pasquale, if he can make this, He'll have to fight for another rack. Oh my goodness. And there it is. Julie Pasquale survives a thriller. That's his ninth rack today. And guess what? He's going to stay on the table to break against RJ Bautista. And that'll be the next rack after this. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Weezer! Fast payments! Weezer! Payment is 
Please for 21 years old and above. Play responsibly. All right, so it's an illegal break. Now, here's the thing. RJ needs this. He needs this to get to his 23rd. Remember, he still trails by two racks against Paolo Villapando. And, of course, Paolo was on the verge of playing. Ooh, that sounded like a miss hit there. Ooh. Ouch, that's got to hurt. That didn't look like, that didn't sound like something was right, went right. And there it's going to be another opportunity for this man. Again, Judy Pascual. Let's see if he can get to 10. Oh, that's nice. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, no. Oh, boy. By the way, over on YouTube, good afternoon to Snooker, who is watching us right now. So, Snooker, thank you for joining us here, as always. And, of course, now Lucas is going to go for the jump shot. And here comes the Provinciano. It's a nice try. But... This is still not an easy shot, even if, uh, if RJ goes for it. This is still not an easy shot. We'll go for a safety. And, okay, here's the, here's the, here's the battle now. Can Juni still see something and go for it? Or will he have to fl fly this over? That's going to be a good question here. Well, looks like he might still be able to see that too. Uh-oh. Okay. All right, now here's it's going to be an interesting shot here for RJ because he's going to have to make a really thin, difficult cut here. Or if he can, maybe he can perhaps go for the 2-9 carom. But that carom is going to be difficult because of the distance between the two balls there, the 2 and the 9. There's quite a gap there. That's going to be a problem there. Oh, he went for it. Oh, RJ got away with it, though. So he leaves the two safely behind that three. And Juni's going to have to go ahead. He'll try it again. It's just measuring his shot here. Potentially looking at the uh, bottom left corner pocket for it to go in. Okay, there we go. And here comes RJ. And this may be it for him to win the next rack. Let's see what he'll do here. Ooh, that didn't sound right. It's 
I'm not sure. It's like RJ Stroke has gone off. Sounded like it was a very good hit. Yeah, he needs to do something here. All right, Junie's got a shot again. But this is not easy. And again, Junie battling for his very survival here because he is still down in the single-digit territory and he wants to get at least one more rack. Oh, a little too much. But... Let's see what happens here. But definitely RJ wants to win this rack so he could go straight up to challenge Paolo Villapando and let him fly with all those tough shots there. Ooh, no, oh, nice try, but that's not going to go. Let's see. Can Junie do something with this? Oh, he missed. And that's going to be ball in hand for RJ. And RJ, well, we've seen what he could do with ball in hand. So he may clear it out right here and close out this encounter. Oh, no. What happened there? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. I did not expect RJ to miss that one. But he just did. And now Junie's got a wide open shot. And he just got to make sure he gets position on the six after this for a chance to win this rack right here. Great play there. Juni with the almost perfect speed control. All right, here comes Juni Pascual for number 10. And to hold off, RJ Bautista. And there he is. Juni Pascual hits his 10th rack. He's still got a long way to go. When he takes on Paolo Villapando, can the underdog close it out to the next track? Well, let's find out in just a few minutes.
secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available. And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. And that's a big break there for the man known as Ang Propichano. What a huge break. Well, he needed that break to build his confidence. But now, he's got to do some more hard work here. Let's see what happens with this one. Well, that's going to be a foul. Thanks to that being a scratch. And Juni Pasquale with another crack at the table. And he's going to gladly take this opportunity. Well, but of course, you're going to see if Paolo Villapando will even get back to the table after this. Again, wilder racks than this have happened. So we'll see if it's becomes one of those racks. Oh, man. <laughs> well, a uh, little chat with the referee from uh, Juni Pasquale. He's basically saying this thing is getting wild. This thing is getting crazy. And now he's trying to loosen up a little here. So he asks for the bridge and he'll use it again. He just needs to get this. Oh, we'll make it. Okay, he's fine. He can still make this. He can still make this, but he's got to be very careful. Yeah. Juni Pasquale still very much alive, still very much refusing to go away. And he's going to take on RJ Bautista in the next rack and we'll be right back.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. That break is brought to you by the Windsor app. I look at this. Illegal break. It's an illegal break for Juni Pasquale, meaning that RJ will get to take the shot or give it back. RJ Bautista got 23 racks and he needs to win this next rack against the man on the hill, Paolo Villapando, to keep his hopes alive.
And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Oh my goodness, two balls down. And the nine ball was creeping towards that bottom right pocket. That was nice. But he doesn't leave a good shot on the two. Let's see. We got quite a blockbuster here in this rack. Remember, it's one man on the hill and another man trying to get to the hill. And, of course, that's going to be this man getting to, trying to finish it off. And Paolo Villapando, this guy, wants the win. And, of course, that shot to the two is not going to be easy because of the angle. So he's going to have to come up with something here, either a safety or if he can actually make the shot. That's going to be daring. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. He sold it. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. Man, that's... Uh... Now, here's the thing. This, if, let's say... Let's say RJ wins this. If RJ wins this then this will be the final rack, the final possible rack that he and uh, Paolo Villapando will face off, meaning that either one of them have to beat Juni Pascual in one of the next racks to be able to win. That's why this is going to be a crucial rack for RJ because he needs to win this and then beat Juni Pascual for the win. On the other hand, that will mean that this will be the last time that the two will face. Assuming, of course, that um, assuming, of course, that w that neither of them that neither of them are able to beat Juni right away. But look at this. RJ wants it. He can taste it now. By the way, over on YouTube, yes, tr yeah, Trish, I think you, I think you took a nap. Well, good that you were able to take a little nap there. I understand it is early morning there over in the U.S. of A. You're right, three thirty six over in your on your side of on your side of the continent. And well, good to see that uh, you're still joining us for this one. And there it is, R.J. Bautista wins what could be the final rack between him and Pablo Villapando. From here on out, it's going to be up to Juni Pascual to keep this match going. And we'll be right back. Let's bet on sports. Weezer. Win big without limits. Weezer. Vices by Pat Gore. Weezer. Fast payments. Weezer. Gaming is for 21 years old and above. Play responsibly.
All right, now it's going to be all up to Junie to keep this match going because both RJ and Paolo are on the hill. And that break is brought to you by Andy Premier. All right, look at this. Well, RJ has a legal break. Here's the problem. That two is not easy to get to from this angle. That's going to be a difficult one. And remember, this is already this is again an unusual. This is again a scenario that you normally wouldn't see, that you wouldn't expect to see. That last rack. Rack number 69 was the very last rack that RJ and uh, that RJ and Paolo would face off because whoever wins the next rack among the two of them is the winner. Oh, it went in. Oh, my goodness. What happened there? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Did Judy just get lucky or what? Oh, my. Well, we said it. We said it. Here's the thing. For RJ to win this match now, he must hope that Juni beats the next man, Paolo Villapando. And for Paolo to and for Paolo, he must win this here. Otherwise, he will leave his fate to Juni if he loses. And we'll be right back. Don't go away. Hard Time Sports Bar. And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. Good break. All right. This is going to be big. Here it is. It all begins and ends with this man, Juni Pasquale. Remember, both uh, RJ and Paolo are at the very are at the hill. But because of how this match, because of how the um, match is structured, it means that they will not face off again until the very, they will not face off again in this match. And it now means that Juni has to win every rack. He has to win a total of, right here, that's 13 racks consecutive to win this match and stay alive. To win, stay alive and win this match. Oh, that is nice. Wow. Perfectly struck. And Juni just starting to play some real hardball today. Juni. 
Junior refusing. Uh oh. All right, he's still alive. Well, well, Junior fortunately still has a shot now on the one. Of course, it's not ideal, but let's see what he plans to do here. Remember, for Juni, the important aspect of this is he must win. This is a must-win scenario for this man. Well, this is going to be an interesting battle here, remember. All right, Paulo's got this. He's trying to play it safe. Well, he doesn't leave Junior an easy shot. So again, this is going to be an interesting scenario. Let's see. So we're looking at a very interesting match here again. And look at this. It's going to be Paolo taking the jump. Oh, that's going to be a... Um, that's going to be a foul. That's going to be a foul. And well, because it's a foul, so what's going to happen is this. The, uh, the one ball will not be returned to the table anymore. However, the cue ball will come back to the table because it is the ball that he'll be using to go after the other balls. And by the way, that's a foul, so that means Juni Pascual with ball in hand, and he wants to win this. Juni's fighting his way through this one. He knows he has a long way to go. He knows he has a very long way to go. But he is not, but he's unfazed. Juni has fought back from tough deficits before. And he wants to do it again. All right. Two last two balls for Juni. Oh no, he missed it. Oh no. What happened there? Wow. What a time to miss. And this might be the end of it right now. 
So every rack is going to be like a sort of Damocles hanging above Juni's head because if he wins, if he loses, then it's all over. So as long as Juni keeps winning, this match will keep going. And it's his only shot of staying alive for this match. He has to win every rack moving forward. Oh, look at this. Paolo might might be right here. All right. Now, this is for all the marbles, as they say. Can Paolo Villapando, the underdog, prove that even as the underdog, he can win it? Oh, he missed it. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Even he was like, well. Now, Juni's in another big shot situation. This is for the win. And this is to fend off Paolo Villapando for at least one rack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh oh. Whoa. <laughs> well, even Juni was amazed as if to say, Well, looks like there's going to be a lot more drama after all, he says. And yes, the drama continues. All right. Now Paolo's got to make this one. This is, to, this is to close out the match. Oh, no. Did he miss hit that? Wow, that was a miss hit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I did not see that. Wow. Oh, even Paolo was saying, man, I blew it. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Paolo's not as concerned, but he does have to be concerned because RJ is also on the hill. So remember, RJ. if RJ wins the next rack, then the match is over. Oh, and look at that. Clutch shot by Juni Pascual. Ang provinciano, lumalaban pa rin. Nagpakahaba na naman tayo na isa pang season dito. Naku! Isa na namang matikabong aksyong episode po ng provinciano, lumalaban po. At kalaban niya po ngayon ulit si RJ Bautista. And it's all on the hill for this man. We'll be right back with what could be the final rack. Here we are. One more rack coming up. And this time, it's Juni Pascual facing Rodlin John Bautista. And what could be the final rack of the match, but also what could be yet another um, amazing rack of survival for Ang Provinciana, for Juni Pascual. That's going to be. A very interesting outcome here. And we're going to see if Juni can keep his hopes alive for yet another rack. And that break is brought to you by Andy Premier. Well, that's a legal break, but 
He sold position on the one to RJ. And as we've known, RJ, he can play very, very well. The question for RJ is, can he continue this finish? Again, RJ knows that this is his, um, that he has to beat Juni Pasquale in one of the coming racks to win this match. And that Paolo Villapano must do the same. But right now, I think uh, RJ's got a very good chance of finishing this off because of the very open layout that this rack offers. And remember, when it comes to RJ, he can flat out shoot. The big question is, can he finish? Because right now, as we saw there, Paolo Vinapando couldn't quite get the finish. But it looks like um, RJ might have finally done something. He might be on his way to winning the match right here. Again, barring any unforeseen miss here, this could belong to him right here. Uh, but looks like RJ's got it calm. He's calm now, I think. I think he's a lot more calm. But again, we can't say for sure that he'll win this because he has to pocket every ball to stay alive. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, that was close. Thought for a moment that was going to be a scratch. All right. This is for all the marbles and for RJ Bautista to emerge as our Top Guns champion. There he is. Uh-oh. Wait, where's that cue ball going? Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. What just happened there? Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. What happened? RJ Bautista had the, ra had the match and the, ra the rack in the match won. But he scratches on the final ball. And Juni Pasquale survives again. Even he can't believe it. And RJ neither. <laughs> RJ was like, what happened? And look, <laughs> man, Juni's like, I'm still alive? Oh my goodness. He is still alive. <laughs> wow. Well, you hear, you see, you're seeing it here, right here at Sharks. That's why we bring the action here. Now, Paolo will have another chance to win this one. Let's see if Villapando can defeat Pascual in the next rack and win it all. Here we go. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
That break is brought to you by Andy Premier and Juni Pascual surviving yet again in that last rack after RJ Bautista just wow. That was a scratch that not, none of us expected. <laughs> oh my goodness. Juni just refusing to die, or at the very least, refusing to quit. But man, I did not expect that at all. Who did? Who would expect Juni to uh, win this match? Who expected him? Oh, what a jump shot there. That is huge. But that it's not the best position to be when you have to shoot that three ball. He's going to take out the extension. I'll slip in his pocket first because now he's got to get to this three. This three is a cr crucial shot because if he can make this and make sure he gets position for the four, then this rack could be his right here. Oh, we expected that to be a tough shot. All right, now it's going to depend on Paolo Villapando. Now remember... RJ is hoping. RJ, now for RJ to have a chance to win, Juni must win. In short, Paolo must lose this one. And uh, I know it's not the outcome that uh, any person would like, that they have to depend on one of their uh, former opponents losing. But the fact is, that's what we're seeing right now. Basically, Juni has to win. For RJ to have another chance. And that's where we are right now. Oh my goodness. Wow. This was a crazy... These, the, the last couple of racks have been crazy. Because those couple of racks, well... They both are survival racks for Juni Pascual. Well... We're going to see here if Paolo Villapando can keep it, can keep his side of the ship steady, and so far he's doing it. This is exactly what he needs to do. He needs to keep this thing steady. He can't let it go out of control. Oh, no, he missed. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. That's not an easy shot there that he's left Juni with. But the fact that Juni is back on the table, anything can happen. And I mean anything. Oh, that's a nice safety there. Perfectly played. Juni Pasquale has really played hard here. He has refused to call, to call it quits in this match. And frankly, he's really just pushing both of his opponents as far as they dare. RJ was um, close yet, was very close. He had the perfect run out until that cue ball. Well, all right. What's going to happen here? Uh-oh. Okay. Well, he didn't leave Junior an easy shot. No easy shot here. But the back is a possibility. That's what I'm looking at here. We may see a bank. Oh my goodness. And Hanya over on Facebook saying the underdog finished na George. Mm, mahirap sabihin eh. Marami pang pwede mangyari dito eh. Nakita mo yung huling rack niya, no? Huling rack nila ang dalawa ni Junior at saka ni uh, Paolo. Umabot pa sa last ball. Lang lumiti sa last ball bago nakuha ni Juni. Tapos sa last rack naman, si RJ. Break and, ano, break and run na nga. Pero, na ano, na-run na out na ni, ano, ni RJ. Pero, sumablay pa rin sa last ball. Nag-scratch pa. Ngayon naman, si Juni, matindi ang laban niya dito dahil ito talaga, survival mode siya dito. 
Okay, now this is going to be crucial here for Juni. Not sure if he's going to like this position. Oh, my goodness. But Juni is fighting a battle of survival here. And again, he's up against two men who are already on the hill and threatening to close it out with every rack down. Oh, he missed it. Oh, no. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. For a moment, I thought that was going to go in, and Juni would have another chance of winning. But even with it not going in, with where it is right now, Paolo has to come up with a shot. He has to find a way to knock this in. Now, if this were Efren, he'd normally go back, do this. This, this is He's trying to do an Efren shot here. I think that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to do an Efren. Will he pull it off? Oh, he did the Efren shot. That was nice. That was a perfect kick. Wow. He did an Efren S kick right there that knocked in the seven. Wow. All right. Now Paulo's got to settle down. Two balls for the match. Oh, no, he missed it. Oh, wow. He left himself a little short on that nine. He didn't give himself the ideal position for the nine. And he paid for it with a miss. And now, Juni, if he makes this, he lives yet again. He lives yet again. Oh, my goodness. Juni. Pasquale, like the Provinciano on TV, refuses to go off the air. Oh, my goodness. We're not done, folks. We're not done because now it's RJ's turn. RJ Bautista gets that crack that he was praying for. Now it's up to him to finish this off. And we'll be right back for another rack that could be the end of it. Secret Weapon of Champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar.
And that break is brought to you by the Windsor app. And, um, yeah, that's a legal break. It's a legal break. But here's the bad news. The bad news is he's not going to get a direct line of sight to that one. So it means that if Juni wants to get to this one, he's checking the angle out, though. He's checking. If he slides it between the four and the two, can he get to the one? And that might be his aim right there. Oh, he's going for a kick and stick. Wow, that's, an, that's something there. Uh-oh. But did he leave it open? Oh, my goodness. Now, here's the thing. RJ may be able to see this 1-6 combination. That's going to be the key here. Oh, he missed it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He missed that one. And now Junie's back on the table. And again, as long as Junie's on that table, he has a chance to actually win. That's how intense this match has become. Now, I did a little quick math here. So here's how the situation is. Assuming we go all the way to... Assuming Juni gets all the way to 24 racks to the hill, who will his final opponent be? Well, his final opponent would have to be... would then be Paolo Villapando. So that means the, the man who originally started out in the lead, who, who, the first guy to get to the hill in this match... He will be Juni's final opponent, assuming Juni makes it that far. Of course. The big challenge here is, will Juni even make it that far? And right now, Paolo, of course, hoping that, um, that Juni wins this one so he has another crack at him and a crack at winning. Because again... Because of how the uh, playing pattern has emerged here, it means that whoever wins this match, uh-oh, whoever wins this match has to beat Juni Pasquale at some point, whether it's Paolo or RJ. One of them has to win. One of them has to win, and it's got to be either RJ or Paolo who has to beat Juni for the to finish off the match. Oh no, a scratch. Oh my goodness. Wow. And RJ was trying to hit the um the four ball, but he hit he was trying to pocket the four ball, but he hit it too thin. He hit it too thin and it went into the side pocket afterward. That means that Juni now needs to win every last rack of this match. Okay, this is crucial. He has to pocket that five ball in the top right corner and then pocket the six in the bottom right. And then somehow, some way, either go for end up so he has the eight ball in either the side pocket or in the top left corner or even bottom left corner and then the nine ball well it's got to be going to one of the bottom corner pockets that's how big this match is remember no one remember no one is no one remember no one is um has higher odds here, has higher odds, greater odds here than Juni Pascual because he is well away, is far away. Oh man, look at this. Juni just so far holding steady. But of course, anything can happen in a match like this. So I did say that he had to get good position from the seven, from the six to the eight just to get. Just to get position here. And the side pocket was one of the potential pockets. And that's it right there. Oh, and look at this. Juni with a setup. Oh, my goodness. 
He just gave himself a layup right here. Just got to make this, though. And Juni Pasquale is still alive. Even RJ was like, wait, another scratch? Stop me? Oh, man. So looks like the, the luck of the draw turning against the two men on the hill. But now, Paolo Villapando has another chance to win it right here. We'll be back. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And that break is brought to you by Andy Pimier. Oh, a scratch. Wow. Did we just see a scratch? We did. Scratch on the break for um, Paolo Villapando. Oh, or rather for Judy Pasquale. Scratch on the break for Judy Pasquale. And now Paolo Villapando. Oh, man. This is going to make things interesting. Remember... We're going to see if Juni can stay alive here against this man. But Paolo Villapando so far has remained, remained a tough man. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Now, here's the thing. Paolo can actually close this match up with a 6-9 combination. Oh, he knocked it away, though. He knocked it away. Oh, my goodness. Juni Pasquale staying alive despite some really crazy odds right here. Remember, he has to win the remaining nine racks consecutive, in consecutive fashion to win. Ganong katindito. Kailangan, must win lahat ng rack ni Juni para maging kampyon. At ang dalawang mga kala, at ang dalawang kalaban niya, parehas pang on the hill. Naku! Nakatuntong sa burol ang dalawang kalaban niya.
All right, looks like um, Paolo finally might be able to put an end to this. All right. Now it's now or never for Paolo Villapando. He's got to make this to end it. And there it is. Finally, Paolo Villapando putting an end to all that drama. And at the end of it all, well, Juni Pasquale fought back valiantly. But in the end, it's the man known as the underdog, Paolo Villapando, standing tall. So that's 25 racks for him. 24 for RJ Bautista, who takes home 4,000. And even though Juni will take home just 2,000, that was quite an effort. And a lot of luck involved. So again, we are going to be ending this match as we are going to start our next encounter coming up. It's going to be three kings. That's right. This is our second match right here. And it's going to be a nine ball race of 30 between Run DMC, Dean Mark Castronuevo, who is here right now. Sean Mark, Mac Mac Leite Malayan. And John Vincent Suave Vicedo. And look at that. It's for 5,000 pesos for the second runner-up, 10,000 for the first runner-up, and 20,000 for the champion. So, who will be your bet for this one? Well, let's see. Well, in the meantime, this is the Great White Shark Candidate. I'll see you guys in a bit. And we will be right back with our second match featuring Run DMC, Mac Mac Leite, and...